video brings us out to Royers Ford, Pennsylvania. Look at the train coming by. Wanted to show that to you guys. There's actually another train. I don't know if you guys can see it. Way down there on the line, there's actually another train sitting down there. It's been sitting down there for a little bit. I knew the train was coming by, so I saw that train sitting down there. I'm guessing that train was waiting for this one to come by for, for some reason. Maybe at some point they had to switch over. I mean, obviously two trains can fit on these uh, on these two different tracks, but I'm guessing there's a switch over at some point. So that train down there, I must I, I guess must have had to wait for this train to come by before the other train can go. So I'm guessing any minute now after this train goes by, another train will be coming down the tracks, which is interesting. So maybe we'll get to see two trains in this one video. So again, we're here near Royers Ford, Pennsylvania, to take a look at something that's kind of a, um, a continuation, if you will, of a video we actually shot last week. As you may remember, we went out to the Phoenixville train station in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. You gotta love this set of trains. Beautiful train station in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. And I had mentioned that there was also a train station in Royersford, Pennsylvania that I remember um, sort of frequenting when I was a kid, not actually using it. It wasn't actually a train station that you could use when I was a kid. I remember coming out here and looking at this all the time and um, that is right here. So this is the Royersford train station built in 1931, once again, by the Reading Railroad Company and also used until 1981 by SEPTA. This was uh, discontinued in 1981. So. Reading Railroad used to be the, oh, the, the train has just gone by. So their, their train, in theory, should be coming down any minute now. We'll see, if the, we'll see if the other train starts moving. So again, this was built by the Reading Railroad Company, which, like, which, which was like the main railroad company back in the day. There you go, 1931. It's actually a cornerstone on this building. Look at that, 1931, right there. That is awesome. I love when old buildings have cornerstones on them to let you know when the actual building was built. So 1931, by the Reading Railroad Company, which, which, which was like the main railroad company in the area, they eventually went out of business. SEPTA, which was a rail line, took over, and they ran this until 1981, which was a year before I was born. So I never got to actually use the rail lines in anywhere around this area, unfortunately. They no longer run trains all the way out here. SEPTA only runs kind of in the Philadelphia sort of area. Even though we are technically in the Philadelphia area, we're still... X amount of miles away from Philadelphia. We're on the we're in the very, 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 very outskirts of, of Philadelphia. They only run at the towns that are like right outside of Philadelphia right now. Again, there has been rumors that eventually someday maybe they'll run the train lines back down here. Maybe they'll open up the the station once again. Who knows if that'll happen? But that's uh, that's Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, down that way. So that that way actually takes you back down towards Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, to the train station that we looked at yesterday down there takes you towards uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. I believe, is the train moving now? I can't, I can't actually tell. It looks like the train may or may not be moving. The lights have definitely come on. They had one light on the train. There's a bunch of lights on. So I think the train's getting ready to actually move. So we might actually get to see two trains in this one video. We'll see about that. But look at this train station. It is beautiful as well. Look at the ornate like tile work on it. It's got terracotta tiling on the roof. Look at the stonework on this thing. And look at these these iron beams. I'm, this is this is one of the things I love. I love the ornate, like iron work they did back in the day. Look at this, really awesome covering here. So this is actually now used as a, a ice cream store and something else. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I think a ca cafe maybe. I don't know what this is. I think we actually when we walk past, it's oh it's a it's a pet groomer. They're, they're grooming pets inside there. That's what they're actually doing. So apparently. You can get your pets groomed here. You can go to a cafe and you can get yourself some delicious ice, ice cream now inside the train station. Look at the work above the windows as well. And again, the ironwork here on the overhang, which doesn't go all the way down anymore, unfortunately. It only kind of comes up to this part. But when I was a kid, I remember coming out here a whole lot because they actually used to do, at Christmas time, they would have Santa Claus I hear the train rumbling. The train's definitely making noise. It's getting ready to do something. So when I was a kid at Christmas time, they'd actually have Santa come down the rail on an old train. It was a, it was like an old um, like steam engine. If, I, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, it was an old steam engine. I think it was anyway. And uh, he'd be in like a car that's being pulled on the back of it, and he waved all the kids. He would drive by or drive by. I guess yeah, drive by very slowly down the line. I have no idea if it actually came. Oh, the train is the train is definitely moving it's moving slowly you can hear 
I hear, I hear a bell on it ringing. The train's definitely moving. So it's gonna come by any second now. So anyway, Santa Claus used to come by on the train. I guess it would come from maybe Reading, say hi to all the kids down there, maybe come through Pottstown, say hi to the kids down there, come through Royersford, say hi to the kids here, then probably make its way down to, to Phoenixville, maybe into, maybe into Valley Forge, and then into Norristown. I have no idea how far it used to go. But what I do know is, as a kid, Santa Claus used to come by right here. So we, all the kids would line up. The fence wasn't here yet because this wasn't actually being used for anything. This was just an abandoned station at the time. So look at that. How often do you get to see a train moving this slowly? Headphones, I apologize. Wow, wow, that was loud because usually they come by and it's like, Rain. but no, that was a very slow moving train blasting its horn. I don't know if I'll be able to hear now. That was a that was insanely loud, but this is awesome. Look how slow again, slow the train's coming by. That's crazy. So, that's what I was trying to tell you guys. Santa, this, this is how slow the train was co coming by when Santa Claus used to come by here, nice and slow. He would wave to all the kids, we would all line up here, all the kids in the town. We'll line up here. We watch Santa Claus come by before he actually would come by again because these railings were in here. My dad and I would go out and we put pennies on the track. Santa would come by, he would wave, he'd smoosh the pennies, we'd go back out, we'd pick up our pennies. It was pretty awesome back in the day. My dad actually terrified me as a kid. I'll tell you this story really quick. As a kid, my dad terrified me because before the train would come, we would usually get here a good maybe like half hour or so before Santa Claus would come by. That way we'd have a nice place to sit. We'd wait for Santa Claus to come by. We were walking down the tracks. We, we, we just decided, hey, let's go take a walk. We walked down the tracks and we found a glove. It was an empty glove, but it almost looked like it had blood on it or something like that. I don't think it actually was. I don't know what it was, but it looked like, a, it looked like an old bloody glove. And my dad told me the story about how, oh, some guy got his hand cut off by a train. And it just, it freaked me out because I was a really little kid. So the idea of some, some guy getting hit by a train and his hand getting cut off just scared the heck out of me. And for weeks, I had nightmares. My mom was so mad that my dad told me that story and, and gave me these nightmares. For, I, I couldn't sleep in my own bed for like a month. I was constantly getting up in the middle of the night, crying and freaking out. It scared me. My, my dad terrified me as a kid. You know what? As, as a dad now, I do the same thing to my son. So it is what it is. It's, 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 the, it's the right of a dad to torture their sons. That's, that's what you gotta do. So look at the train here. This is so cool. We actually got to see the train. So it's coming from the Reading, Pennsylvania area, came through Pottstown, coming through Royersford, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania right now, heading down towards, to, this, this train will actually go past the Phoenixville station that we saw last week, and it's probably gonna head down towards Valley Forge, go past Valley Forge, and then it'll eventually end up in the Philadelphia area. I'm assuming that's where this train's probably heading, probably towards Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, maybe down to the freight yards down there. There's actually a bunch of uh, uh, places where they, take these and put them on the ship's shipyard. That's what we're looking for. There's a shipyard down there. I have no idea these are going to a shipyard. I don't know where these are gonna end up, but I don't know, that's my guess. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, maybe to the shipyard to be taken somewhere, who knows? Still so cool. Again, look at the, look at the amazing ironwork here. I wish they would completely renovate this, um, this overhang. As you can see, it's, it's seen some better days. I wish they would completely overhaul it. That'd be really awesome. But at least it's nice that the actual train station is being used. Because it's a beautiful station. I like how we came out here to see the station. The whole reason I did this video was to show you the station. And all we've been doing for the last like 10 minutes is looking at trains. But let's be honest, would it, would it be a what's with day today video without trains being involved? And there it goes. There's the train. No, no caboose, unfortunately. They don't do cabooses on trains anymore. They stopped doing that a long, long time ago. But all right, so I want to show you guys the trains because they were here. I mean, that was two trains in one video. That's something you don't get to see very often. I usually see one train come by, but two trains like that, 
Now, that, that's a rarity for me anyway. All right, but I really wanted to show you guys the 1931 Royers Ford train station because it is a beautiful station. Again, terracotta roof, really amazing, like decorative tile or brickwork, or whatever that is. It's a fantastic looking station. I love this kind of stuff. I really wish as much as I'm as happy as I am, there's a groomer in here and a cafe in here and an ice cream store in here. The idea of maybe them one day opening this back up as an actual train station for people to use would be so cool. Cause I mean, look again, look how beautiful it is. They just don't build stuff like this anymore. 1931 used until 1981. What do you think is up there? Can you, I wonder if that's actually a room up there. I don't think I've actually, the, the pink moose you can't go into. The pink moose is an ice cream store. You can't actually go in there. You have to order through a window on the side. But I kind of want to go in now because I'm curious, is that an upstairs like like a loft area or could you just walk in there and it's a big kind of open room where the light shines through the windows there? I'm, I'm very curious, I have no idea. Next time I get ice cream at the pink moose, I'm gonna have to ask somebody, what's the deal with that? Is that a room up there? Or is it just one big open room where the light shines through? Either way, it's gorgeous looking. All right, guys, so that's about it. Just want to show you the 1931 Royal Shore train station as an update to last week's video when we were out at the Phoenixville train station because only a couple of miles down the tracks is Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. The Phoenixville train station is right down that way. That train probably within a good like minute or two will be going past the Phoenixville train station. And like I said, past the the Valley Forge train station, which maybe we'll actually go take a look at at some point as well. And then down into Norristown and then down into to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Very cool, very awesome. Like I said, beautiful station. I'm loving it. Now I kind of want to like, I, I want to work at one of these jobs now. I want to I, I want to go into one of these places. I want to I, I want to go in and just look at it. I want to go into the cafe or into the Pink Moose, or maybe even into the dark dog groomers. We have dogs. Maybe I'm going to have to talk to the wife the bringing the dogs to this dog groomer just so I can go inside the buildings. I really want to see what it looks inside there. I don't know if I've ever been in there. Maybe as a kid, I was inside there. I don't remember. I know as a kid, this was like abandoned. It wasn't being used as anything when I was a, when I was a kid, but I want to say maybe, maybe I was in there. I have no idea. I have no clue. Regardless though, it is a fantastic and beautiful looking station. It was cool that we got to see two trains come by. Looks like they're doing some maintenance down there on the track. There's one, not a, it's not a train, but it's one of those like maintenance train cars down there I can see parked on the track. But all right, guys, that's it. Wanted to bring you out here. Look at these cool, these cool, uh, like see-through plastic chairs. Anyway, guys, all right, that's it. So hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I just figured two trains, we have to take a look at that. That's too cool. One again, wanted to do a little bit of an update on this station, since we did a station last week on the same rail line. Again, I'm loving the ironwork here. Look at the rivets, look at that. Like that is just something you don't see anymore. Too cool, too awesome. We got to see two trains. We got to see a train station. My day has been officially made. So, all right guys, with that we are done. So as always guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. Also check down below for links to Patreon. If you do become a patron, I will send you a monthly postcard from the road. So when I go places, I pick up postcards. I send them to you at the beginning of every month. In fact, you'll be getting a postcard from the uh, great state of Florida next month. I will actually mail postcards from Walt Disney World to all patrons next month because I'll be down there at the beginning of the month. So that's going to be awesome. Um, also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself What's With Dave Today t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do good help putting gas inside Vanabelle or again today because we're not far from my home inside Pumpkin and we can go out to fun, interesting, cool places like this. You guys help me put some gas in the car so we can go to cool fun, interesting places. And I can bring you guys to cool, fun, interesting places. So, all right, guys, again, that's it. I guess I hit all the different buttons, click the like stuff and notification bells and whatnot. And if you are subscribed, I will see you in tomorrow's video. <laughs> Who knows? I'm sure at some point, somehow we'll, we'll bump into a train because I should just call this, I should just start what's with trains today because it seems like every single video somehow, some way, in some form or another features a train. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I, I, like, I like trains. In fact, ooh. I should get a train tattoo. I have my, I have my lighthouse tattoo. Should I get a train tattoo? Comments down below if you think I should get a train, if you're still watching this video, if you think I should get a train tattoo, leave a comment down below. Cause I'm thinking, I'm thinking I need a train tattoo, right? Right? A caboose, a caboose, ooh, I'm, 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 it's, it's all coming to me right now, a caboose. 
I'm thinking I need a caboose tattooed on me. Maybe a, a caboose on my caboose? I don't know, we'll see guys. Anyway, if you think I should get a caboose tattoo, leave a comment down below, let me know. Maybe I'll do that and I'll do a video on it. I might do that. So anyway, guys, again, that's it. Like I said, 1931 Royersport train station. Beautiful, fantastic, amazing looking. I've always been a big fan of the station. I've driven past the station thousands of times before. And every time I drive past, I always look over to take a look at it because it is so incredibly beautiful. I know I said I was gonna end this video, but I can't, I can't stop looking at the station. Look at the old lights. Look at the old ironwork. Look at the amazing, like work, like the stonework here. Look at that. All right, guys, but okay, that is it. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Like I said, hit all the buttons. And I will see you in tomorrow's video where I'm sure I'll just continue to ramble on even though I say, I'm gonna let you guys go. But for now, definitely, I promise, I'm gonna let you guys go. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Bye.